Hey, hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, I got a story in front of me by Hugh, and it's about Toyota. Now, we know that Toyota have been very reluctant to go full steam ahead with battery electric vehicles, BEVs, and they've sort of stuck to the, the old self-charging hybrid nonsense. You know, remember that advert and uh, plug-in hybrid. So they sort of wanted to stick to that route. They've, they've done that because there's more profit for them most likely. You know, they want to stick to where most profit is. You can't blame them. But what you can blame them for is being a, a sort of a spanner in the works because they have been lobbying whenever there's um, uh, new emissions rules and stuff, Toyota at first at the queue to lobby. They're the first ones there to say, come on, no, we don't want this happening. Um, so they've been a little bit of a, a span in the works, a bit of a pain in the bum when it comes to BEVs. And they, they say things like BEVs are not the future. Now, they, like, like I said before, they're saying that to slow down the uptake of BEVs from other car manufacturers. All it is, is just just word soup to sort of try and sort of slow the, the the transition to electric vehicles down that's all it is it's all about profits for them and trying to slow down the transition that's what it is so instead of instead of uh joining them with the crowd they're staying at the side and trying to trying to spoil the party right so this story by Hugh sort of proves in a way that they've sort of gone right we're gonna you know it's time for us to sort of join in with the party we've tried to slow it down we don't think it's going to slow down anymore so we better do something about it now it's about selling toyota cars in china because in china toyota sales are slowing down with the self-charging nonsense <laughs> and uh plug-in hybrids and i read that sales are slowing down so they've gone and joined in with BYD. Now, a lot of car companies now are sort of joining, uh, asking BYD for some battery technology. They're all asking. Now, uh, for some reason, right, I know I'm waffling, but when Tesla first came out, all the, all the, all the I can't speak, all the other car manufacturers poo-pooed Tesla and they laughed, but then Tesla started showing that they can make really good motors, the, the battery tech, all the tech in the cars in Teslas was better than what the other car manufacturers were trying to make. Now, instead of, instead of spending loads of money trying to make their own stuff that wasn't that good, they could have asked Tesla for a little bit of help, but they didn't want to, did they? Now, so now we've got car manufacturers like Toyota, they're asking BYD for a little bit of help. Now, I've looked at these new cars that are coming out in China. Now, this might sort of be a little appetizer for what might come in the EU and America and the UK from Toyota. And I like what I'm seeing. I like it. I do like it. Now, the car they made before, the it's still got stupid names. The, the new Toyota, the new ones are called BZ3X and BZ3C. Now, was the other one BZ4X or something or something stupid like that? Um, I, I didn't particularly like that car. I don't know why. I just looked at it, I thought, meh. I looked in the interior and I thought, meh, meh, right? It was double meh, meh. <laughs> now, now I, I, I mentioned interior because some people go on the looks of the outside of the car and less on the interior, but you spend 99.9% .9 of the time inside the car, not outside the car looking at it. And I don't care what other people are looking at. I, some people like to look, like the look of the, you know what I mean? They like other people to look at their car and think that's a nice looking car. I'm a bit more, I couldn't really care less about, not, not care less, not, not as much as some people would care. And I do prefer, the, the interior's got to look right for me. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You don't spend your time outside the car, you spend most of your time inside the car. So that's the bit that I concentrate on the most. Anyway, so I don't particularly like Toyota interiors, except for these two new cars. So I know I'm waffling. I know I'm waffling to get to the point. Some people have said to me, why do you waffle? Well, it's the waffle channel. <laughs> right, so let's get to the meat and gravy, okay? Um, or if you're, 
if you're vegan, let's get to the... Uh, I can't think of anything vegan. I eat vegan food. I'm not against vegans. Um, oh, I spoiled our joke now. I do eat vegan food, by the way. I do eat um, corn. Corn. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. Bit of tofu. I don't, I don't like tofu. But I don't mind a bit of corn. I have a corn stir fry now and again. I'm waffling again. Right, so. Right. So, what does this article say? This article is from Auto Express. And it says, New Toyota BZ3... Stupid names, man. Toyota BZ3X and BZ3C revealed as brand looks to up its EV game. And it does look like they have upped their game. So I can see a picture of it here and it says Toyota has revealed two new Chinese market electric vehicles that might preview new models for the European market with Toyota still to gain a foothold in the Chinese EV sector and with sales slipping of combustion and hybrid models in China. The pair of new cars have been designed as a reboot for the brand. Both the Toyota BZ3X and BZ3C may also have re relevance for Toyota models closer to home. And it does say a little bit further down, if I have a little peek further down, it says that the, 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 B, the BZ3Z is a Tesla styled Model 3. Now the interior does look a bit Tesla y, a bit Tesla Model 3, Tesla Model Y. It does look like they've done a little bit of a copying. Um, and it says the battery and powertrain technology is jointly engineered by Toyota and Chinese EV giant BYD. So Toyota have said, Can you help us please? Because you know, we've been hanging about with the old self-charging hybrids and uh, we don't know much about making uh, Bev, so can you help us out, please, Governor? Can you spare some change, please, Governor? And uh, so, <laughs> so that's what they've done. They've gone and sort of jointly engineered it, it says, but they probably they probably use BYD motors and BYD batteries, but the sounds of it, I don't know, I'm just surmising. But that's what it sounds like to me. Um, so... Uh, they haven't given any more details of what the size of the battery is or the motors or anything like that yet. Um, it says both models are going to be expected to go on sale within the next 12 months. Now, I did read an article a while back, and I think I mentioned on the channel, that Toyota has got new battery electric vehicles coming out. So that goes against the grain of what they said. If they really thought, right, if, if Toyota really 100% thought that battery electric vehicles were not the future, then they wouldn't bother spending the money because it does cost loads of money to, you know, to make new vehicles. So there you go. It's all, Toyota has spent all their time trying to confuse the narrative and lobbying and all that sort of nonsense. But it looks like now, eventually, they've gone, oh, all right then, we'll, we'll join the party. That's what it looks like. So it looks like the future will be, Toyota will be joining the party. That's basically the gist of what this video was, but most of it was me waffling and talking a load of nonsense. Anyway, if you enjoy me talking a load of nonsense and waffling on, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and put a comment down below, because it helps the video move up in the old algorithms. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Hoi!